what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix crashing or freezing or lagging in city skylines so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you'll probably know what to do in order to fix this issue before we start right into the video i just want you guys to know let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right onto my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys. You would support you my, my work here on YouTube a little bit and I would be really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So as the first step I would recommend doing for everybody, I would recommend you to open up your task manager by using the shortcut or navigating down to your taskbar, right clicking it and opening up your task manager. So once you did that, I want you to basically navigate to the top left corner of your screen, clicking onto processes. And then as the next step, I know guys, it's gonna sound a little bit weird, but trust me and do it. I'm gonna also explain it to you. I want you to end every single task, which has nothing to do with Windows, obviously. And here are the reasons. So first of all, uh, if you have a low-end PC or a bad PC, too many task applications or pro uh, programs running at the same time uh, could cause freezing or crashing, especially on bad PCs because your PC can't handle that anymore. And the other reason, like it was for me, um, there are some applications, some background processes, which are third party don't ask me why, uh, your main game causing it to freeze or to crash. So uh, we can avoid this problem by just ending every single task. So guys, once you're finished here, you should be able to end the task manager. And as the next step, I want you to search an empty spot right onto your monitor. So on your desktops, you wanna right click and go to the bottom where it says display settings. So as the next step, I want you to stick around display. And um, so I want you to identify which your main monitor is. Obviously this just applies if you have more than one monitor. Once you identified your main monitor, I want you to scroll down and stick around scale and layout. Well, I want you to change, the, to, take, to change the size of text apps and other items to 100% as recommended. And the display resolution should be the same as in game. So 720 by 1070, for example. So once you're finished here, I want you to end this task. And as the next step, I want you to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, opening up your settings, navigating right into update and security and sticking around Windows Update. And I know guys, it's gonna sound a little bit basic, but trust me, updating every single type driver you could possibly update will help you a lot with uh, crashing or freezing issues, especially on low-end PCs. So just try and update your drivers and we'll start with Windows just to provide the best possible performance for your PC. Once you're finished here, I want you to end this task and do the same thing, very important, for your graphics card. So if you have AMD or NVIDIA, it doesn't really matter. Just go to the application, go to the browser and download the latest version of that. Just to provide the best possible performance in general for your PC. Yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I hope I could actually help you out with this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that and I'm going to thank you for that. And I'm sorry, guys, if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.